Yesterday I sat in a full church a few miles from where we now live. It was a poignant service and in good Methodist style we praised God for all that is past and we dared to trust him for all that is to come. You might call it the end of an era for after 197 years this was the closing service of the chapel where I went with my family. I was baptised there. As a teenager I found faith there. I was taught in the Sunday school and best of all Jane and I were married there 41 years ago. The building has served its purpose and the reality for all who are closely involved in it is endings are really hard. In an altogether different place of worship in London today, another significant ending will be marked in solemnity and thanksgiving. We've already seen some extraordinary sights over the last 10 days and I don't think today will be any different. Lots has been said and written. I take great encouragement from the life of the Queen. From her privileged position, she lived a long life of faithful service. And though she lived to be a good age, or as they say round here, she had a good innings, the Queen's death is another reminder that we are all mortal. We can use the past to help shape our future. The folk who've gone before us, whose lives of encouragement, wisdom, faith and love have touched ours. As I sat in the church yesterday, I was quietly recalling such heroes of faith who've been part of my journey. Lord, as we face endings and new beginnings, help us to acknowledge the loss that we feel, but grasp that with you there is an after. Amen.